Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gia. I'm a second year medical student and welcome to my first vlog. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I would very much appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into it. Um, it is the afternoon. I am just kind of home from class. We didn't really have that much this morning. Um, I just did some studying and now I'm back home and I'm just going to do some more studying because that is the life of a medical student. Um, I ate lunch and yeah, that's about it for now. I am going to put in a nice scent in my oil diffuser to get myself in a good study mood. My life is literally just doing hundreds of flashcards. That's like, that's medical school for you. It's been a little while. I've just been studying, doing flashcards, watching videos, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm taking a little study break and I checked my email and I actually um, was notified that I got not one, but two posters accepted for a conference. So apparently I can only present one, so I have to choose which one I wanna talk about. Um, but I don't know, it just made me excited to go to the conference because I get to present a poster and that is very exciting. So yeah, it just put me in a good mood and yeah, I'm gonna go back to studying in a little bit. I'm just drinking some tea and taking a little bit of a relaxing 10 minutes to just sit here and chill, but I'll go back to studying soon and then Gonna make dinner in a little bit. Secondary hybridosterone is unstable. Heart failure. Heart failure reduces renal blood flow. Reduced renal blood flow activates the renin angiotensinaldosterone system, which increases salt and water retention and exacerbates edema. Recall that those furious loop diuretics are first line treatment, but they may cause excessive. 
because of potassium waste. Therefore, a potassium sparing diuretic can be added to blunt the potassium excretion. In fact, mineral and corticoid receptor antagonists, specifically, such as a flaronone and spironolactone, are recommended in some cases of severe heart failure with reduced ejection fraction due to the leaves are changing. Ugh. I can't wait until it's actually fall. This is like just the beginning of it. It's about to be so pretty here. I just packed up a bunch of my summer stuff in this suitcase cause it's getting pretty cold here and uh, my parents are visiting me this weekend so they're gonna take my summer stuff home with them because I'm moving pretty shortly in a few months. So uh, yeah. Um, this is like all the stuff that I'm not really gonna wear anymore, just like swimsuits and tank tops and other miscellaneous summer things. Um, it's kind of sad that, I don't know, it's not warm here anymore, but it's good to, you know, get your closet cleaned out and just have things that you're gonna wear for the season. So yeah, my closet is very nice and empty now and all cleaned out and that makes me pretty happy. Dinner time. My favorite thing in the world. It's so good. and it's also plant-based. Um, I don't eat plant-based 100% of the time or anything, but it is very nutritious. It has a lot of protein because of the hemp seeds and it has nutritional yeast in it. And it also tastes amazing. So I am gonna put this on my cauliflower gnocchi and it's just gonna be so delicious. I actually forgot to film the final product of my dinner, but I just finished eating, it was delicious, um, and now I'm just going to relax for a little bit, take a shower, um, watch some TV, and yeah, probably just wind down. this face mask it's the glossier mega greens face mask I'm just sitting in bed in my robe I'm gonna relax and watch some TV or YouTube videos or something and yeah that was my pretty regular boring day of studying um, nothing too exciting happened but it was very relaxed I got a lot done um, got a lot of focus hours, so I'm happy about that. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!